All right, we have some no cow mania here. I just finished the Folkerts SK2. And now here's the Cessna Centurion. This is another Velare kit, okay? And in this case, I got the printed tissue from Hummingbird Model Products. Uh, I'll show you in this case, you actually get three of them. And what I did is I put them on a canvas stretching frame from Blix and I taped it on loose. You gotta have the tissue loose and then I shrunk it actually several times. You wanna shrink it as much as possible. So here's the one you can see. I actually then sprayed the frame, dropped it on here and then cut it out, okay? I still have two left. I'm gonna save those in case I make another one in the future. Um, so this is really nice. I, I really like this printed tissue and this is kind of like the nicest one. It's got nice colors and you can see there's actually a picture of the pilot. You can see the seats and everything else. Really, really nice. <clears throat> okay. So I lightened up the kit a little bit. Let me show you a couple things. I didn't use the ribs. I sliced my own ribs, if you can see those. All right. Everything is, else is a 20th square instead of a 16th square. Not that, leave the wing alone. You need a good strong leading and trailing edge, but everything else is a 20th square. So what I did is all these laser cut pieces are on a sheet. I just turned the sheet over backwards and then lightly sanded it. I sanded it down to about 1 20th. Uh, you know, when I was a kid many years ago, Gillows used to have heavy wood in a lot of the kits and that's exactly what I would do. I would sand it down and you'd get a fairly light plane, okay? Uh, let's see, I did the roll tube again. This is 0.025. This is the tail boom. It's 0.015. I have a dual bearing on there. Okay, there's the prop. Right now it's a little over 7 by about 10 pitch. I have to experiment with that. I really have no idea. Uh, for the tissue on the wings and the stab here, I used the lightest poss possible tissue I could get, which is Core and I. I got it from Velare. It's eight grams per square meter, whereas the usual tissue in Asaki is 12 to 13 grams per square meter. So it's very light. And then I use striping tape to put on the, <clears throat> you know, the ailerons and stuff like that. Also, uh, as I think you saw on the other side, I have tissue tubes. So they're little posts coming off of the wing and they go into the tissue tubes there. So I, the wing is removable just like before and that way I could get it in my box, all right? This came out pretty light. The total weight is three grams. So this is good. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to flying this. It's considerably smaller. Here, let me grab the Folkerts just to show you. Here's the Folkerts. You can probably see it's a lot bigger. So this is gonna be interesting. I think I can fly this on very light rubber and, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think that's everything. And uh, this was really a lot of fun. I like the way this looks. I think it's gonna look nice flying in the armory and we'll get out and fly. Okay. It looks good. Ooh, it hit something. Ooh. Oh boy, oh, he's getting dangerous now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh, that's easy to get that. I'm going to just tap it. Here we are. Continuing the flight. <laughs> no.
No, something moved. Uh, it probably moved the wing a little bit. All right. Well, it's doing all right. The prop's rubbing a little bit. I can hear it. Well, it's two minutes. Okay. Making a little progress.